got he made his name. Uh, was that a, what was the feeling when, when that came came across? You know, it, it, I, I really wasn't el elated like I thought I would be because it's been such a long process. It's almost like, whew, well, maybe maybe finally he'll get here in in August or whenever June. Maybe he'll be here for summer school. I'm sure he sure he will. So you know, we 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 all along felt it was something that would happen, and um, he's a pretty loyal kid, obviously. And uh, I think the coaches at Three Rivers, the reason he's there is you know we, we knew that they wouldn't play a lot of games uh, with entertaining other schools. To you know, Gene Best is not trying to go become an assistant coach at uh, the, the ex high major university to deliver a kid. So uh, he's, he's pretty well established there with over a thousand wins. I don't think you can be much more established than that. Um, so in the end, you know, I, I, there were a couple schools that we heard that had visited with him up there and other schools that had talked about trying to get involved, but it was never much of an issue. So. He's all of seven feet, 250 pounds of raw athleticism. He's, uh, unofficial stats are he's blocked 16 shots in his first two games stateside. So hopefully we can um, develop him offensively. And he's a he's a brilliant student, and a great kid. So we'll just stockpile seven footers for a while. <laughs> Coach, you're a big believer and your team will play like it practices. How do you feel like it's gone so far after the exhibition game? Uh, two, two pretty good practices. Um, you know, we, um, every time you can show them what, what they're doing well, what they're not doing well on, on videotape is, is a learning experience and a teaching tool. And uh, we've had two pretty good practices. We did take Sunday off. So Monday, Tuesday, um, hopefully we can have another good one today. Have they shown an aptitude for learning any more than uh, other players that you've had recently? No, I, you know, I don't. I, I don't think um, learning or the, the the system is is any big deal at all for this group. I think they're fairly um, quick learners, quick studies. The the thing that I think. Um, the new guys in particular are having to learn is how to play hard all the time. Um, you know, it was a lot easier at Pinewood Prep or Cheyenne High School or Worth County High School or maybe for that matter in East Carolina, uh, you know. But playing hard every second you're out there, especially on the defensive end and on the glass, you know, you can relax a little bit on the offensive end. That's that's a time to kind of gather your wits and be smarter. But uh, the, the phrase playing with your hair on fire has not gotten through to some of these kids uh, defensively. Uh, yeah, Dimitri, uh, what's he done to kind of get himself in this position? Uh, well, I mean, you, you were at the game Saturday night. I thought he played pretty well. I mean, he, he's certainly not shy. He's certainly not, um, has, has no inhibitions about Playing the game, very confident, almost, almost overly confident for this point in his career. Uh, looked like he belonged out there. And he also had some breakdowns defensively, which you could kind of expect from a freshman, new guy. That's why I'm a little more critical of David's uh, situation.